So two by one aspect ratio, what that means? Well, that means that this side of the screen is two times bigger than this side of the screen. Okay, thank you for watching. No, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, stay there, you know. So if you wanna know like what it means, like why you use it and all those things, you can go up here. There is a link somewhere here uh, to my friend Tom with the YouTube channel, The Enthusiasm Project. He, do a, he did a great job explaining this. And also up there, you will see a video of Peter McCannon explaining why he liked to use the two by one aspect ratio so you can take advantage of that um, real estate screen of your phone because most of the content watched on YouTube have been watched on phones, smartphones, and that smartphone screen lean more to the two by one aspect ratio than 16 by nine. Okay, did you check it? You already watch it? Okay, let's continue. Okay, here is the deal. On those videos, they use 3,840 or 3840 by 1920. That is two by one. 1920, 1920 times two is 3,840. So it's still two by one, but that is for 4K. So you will need to stretch that image from the regular 1080p size that this side of, size of 1080p is 1920, and stretch that image up to 3840, right? And uh, the Peter McKinnon theory, he says that he likes to encode the video, uh, 1080p video, as a 4K because when you upload the video, the compression of YouTube, that's a, a, a urb, urban legend. Uh, I don't know if it is true or not, honestly. I can't tell the difference. But he said that when you take a 1080p video and you uh, encode that video as a 4K and you upload that to YouTube, the YouTube compression is a lot less. So you get best video quality out of a 1080p video when you encode the video as a 4k and you upload that to youtube that's what he said i don't know but what i notice is when you check the nerds stats um of those videos uh from peter mckinnon uh youtube don't matter how you encode your video as a 4K or as 1080p, when you use two by one, YouTube adopt the 1920 by 960 aspect ratio. That basically is two by one, but it's the real two by one for a 1080p video. So, 960 times two is 1920. So you, are, you will not be stretching that image in Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro to feel the, the, the screen of your project, you know? You will not be stretching. You will be cutting a little bit of, from the top and from the bottom to make it at a two by one video. To me, that's a better approach than a stretch the video and losing quality. Because you know, when you take a video and you zoom in like 200%, you can see the pixels and you lose quality. At least that's my experience. That's what I experienced. I try a couple videos using 1080p, exporting as a 4K, and I did notice the quality change, you know? But if you export the video 1920 by 960, that is the real two by one aspect ratio for a 1080p video, you will not 
need to stretch that image and you can keep the 1080p video quality intact. And because you already upload the video 1920 by 960, YouTube will use the same aspect ratio, will not re-encode your video. If you check the nerd stats of the video for of you, Peter McKinnon um, YouTube channel, you will see that YouTube changed it from 3840 by 1920 to 1920 by 960. So that's what I found, you know. Now, how do you do that in Final Cut Pro? Well, take a look at here. I have a couple projects here in 1080p and 4K, um, regular size and two by one aspect ratio. So check this out. This is a regular 1080p video. Regular 1080p video. As you see here, scale is 100%. You can change it if you want. If you zoom in too much, See, it changed the quality, but let's make it 100%. Okay. When you go down here, you have type. You see? If I click fit, stay the same. If I click fill, stay the same. Click none, stay the same. Because the video was filmed 16 by 9, meaning um, 1920 by 1080 p and the project here on Final Cut is 1920 by 1080p. Now, when you go to a two by one aspect ratio for 1080p, you will see that it's 1920 by 960. So here at scale, we have a hundred. And when we go down here, let me click here, okay says none. If I click fit, look what happened. Final Cut Pro tried to fit my image that is 1920 by 1080 in a 1920 by 960. So try to fit it there all. And you have this black gap and black gap on, on both sides. If you click fill, it's gonna fill the view, right? And basically what it means is that the white side of the video fit perfectly the white side of the project because both are 1920 or 1920. But what happened is because this is an a two by one aspect ratio, the height is not 1080 anymore, it's 960. So basically, it's cutting just a tiny bit here and a tiny bit here at the bottom. You still can move that, you know? You move here, look what happened. I still can move it up and you see that. You still see the bottom there and you can still see a little bit higher and you see the tip of the microphone there. So that's what happened, it's cutting, basically. So let me leave it like zero, okay. Another thing, when you go down here, then fit, we already saw that. You see the bars on, on the side, fill, fill it and trim a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom, not on the side because it's the same uh, white side. I mean, wide um, size. When you click none, nothing happened. Why nothing happened? Because the Y side of the screen have not changed. The height have not changed either. The, the original image is still the same size. You are not stretching that image at all. You will be cutting a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom. With the project in Final Cut, you will not be stretching the image at all. No change in quality. Now, what happened? When you take a regular 4K size video and you drop there on that project at 1080p, 
this is what happened. Look how big is the 4K image versus the 1080p video. So if you go down here and you click fit, it's gonna fit because it's the same aspect ratio. It's 16 by nine, you know? Both are fixed 16 by nine, the video and the project. If you click fill, it's gonna fit. If you click none, look how big is the 4K. Okay, fine. Let's go to a 4K two by one aspect ratio. When you go here, the 4K still bigger and you will need to stretch that image, basically. You go here, fit, it's gonna fit the top and the bottom and all video inside that 4K project and you see the bars. Okay, you go to fill and it's gonna fill it, but it's gonna fill, let me see. You still see cut a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom. And if you click none, you go back to what it is. So basically what I want to show you with this 4K um, two by one is basically that you will need to stretch that image like a 50%, 50% and you will lose quality. That, that is, can you, okay. Can you notice the difference in quality? Like really, really, you can tell. Well, I don't know. I just don't know, but I know that changed the quality of your video. If you don't want to lose any quality of your video, what you would like to do is basically filming that 1080p video and using an aspect ratio of 1920 by 960. So basically you are not stretching, you are not cutting the video, the actual video, you're just not showing with the project in Final Cut a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom. You're just not showing that part, okay? So that's what I found about two to one aspect ratio. I really liked it because when you watch that on a smartphone, you get a little more real estate and you take advantage of that screen. You're basically using almost the whole screen, okay? So that's what I got. I don't know. Uh, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. You know how this works. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye.